Hey guys, it's Alexander Stop Motion here doing a Transformers video review and today we're taking a look at Transformers Generations Warpath. And Warpath is probably my favorite figure from the Generations line. If not, it would be Wheeljack. Um, yeah, because I'm having a bit of a debate of which are my favorite which is my favorite Transformer, and I'm having a debate between him, Generations Wheeljack, and Reveal the Shield, Jazz. But this guy is amazing. I personally just think this guy is just an awesome figure, and a great homage to Generations, um, Generation 1 Warpath. So, yes, let's begin the review. So... He does have an Autobot symbol on his tank, and the same on the other side, to kind of replicate uh, both sides. And then it says K490W, Kapow. Uh, so yeah. And on the other side, instead of doing the same thing, they wrote ZOW333, uh, Zowie. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. And uh, he does have two guns, two different guns. Um, this one right here, this one is more so of a um, Gatling gun, I think. And then uh, the other one is a, uh, was actually a spring loaded gun with a missile. But I do not like those missiles that you put into the gun and then, like, because you just lose them anyway. And also, it made the figure look a bit bad when it sticked out to the end. And, yeah. Uh, you can go up and down. And so can the cannon. And then it goes side to side. And he does have three wheels. I mean, four wheels. Sorry about that. One, two, three, four. Um... Which, they could use bigger wheels, or more, uh, because really this guy just kind of drags along the ground. So yes. Uh, now, he does have some clip ports uh, for other uh, weapons. If you have Recon Ironhide, and you do not like his uh, other weapons, you can put them on there, or Dark Mount, or anything. So, anyway, let's get to transformation. So, yes. First thing what you want to do is kind of unclip this and lift it like so. The waist will unspring, will unfold from there. And now, you can unsnap his legs. Rotate them down. And if you don't know what I meant by that... Uh, the waist folds down and then all you want to do is come around here and right here all you do is come around here and unsnap and sort of fold the foot down and then fold it in easy as that so you do the same with the other like so Fold it down, then uh, fold it in. And then you got Warpath's legs. And what I like is there's no real bulk hanging off it. This could actually be a cartoon character just ripped out of the cartoon or comic book pages. Uh, then you can lift this piece out. And that allows clearance to bend the elbow down like so and then fold his hand out and then fold that back up which is actually a pretty cool little gimmick that they have going with this figure which I like uh, the transformation a lot I could do this all day and just have fun transforming this guy but then again I would not want to loosen all the joints that's one thing I do not like on a figure is loose joints, and this guy does not have. Now, for this part right here, you want to be sort of careful folding this down like so. 
because uh, it gets some stress marks. And then folding this like so, and then that down. And you want to be careful getting it in. Mainly why is because if you can see there, there's some stress marks. Uh, well, a stress mark. And that makes me a bit worried that it would break. Now, the figure does not feel breakable. If anything, it feels sturdier than a lot of Transformers. Uh, yeah, so you have to kind of get that in there. And then you can snap that peg into that uh, hole. And pegs in like so. Now all there's left is the head. Now you could just easily fold up that flap and then pull the head out. But for more exciting, you can push this in, the tank uh, gun in, and reveal the head. Uh, I personally do not want to risk breaking it, uh, so I just wanted to do that for the review to show you that you can do that. And you can see he still has his chest cannon, um, which instead of just leaving it like that, they actually went ahead and actually made it just slide in and very well indeed now you have warpath and robot and you can see no back kibble really and i really like that now for articulation on warpath he does have a hinge head they go back and forth uh he has a hinge arm right here uh the arm can go in and out he bends at the elbow and also turns also, he has a bit of a wrist pivot. That's due to transformation. He has no waist joint, which actually would be pretty bad on the figure if they did uh, due to the mold. He does have a ball joint on the leg, twist at the upper part of the leg, and then a single jointed knee, which I'm actually kind of glad they don't have a double jointed because um, the single joint actually works really well. Much better than it usually does on a lot. And then also a hinge at the foot. And in case you do not like these uh, guns on his shoulders, there is an easy way to just kind of get rid of them without ruining the figure, and that's basically folding them back. Which, if you want to give him more of a G1 look with just the chest cannon, as I really don't think uh, Warpath would have them in the original cartoon. Uh, and then you can have that, which looks good. I just think it hinders the arm, and I don't like doing big modifications to my Transformers, and they don't look that bad, actually. Now, for a quick size comparison next to one of his fellow minibots, since he was a minibot, here he is next to the legacy of Bumblebee 3-pack repaint of Classics Bumblebee. Uh, and you can see... He is shorter than Warpath. And, you know, it's not bad, actually, compared to Optimus Prime. And really, if you just have these three, this is really the perfect uh, display of figures. Uh, in case you don't have the Eye Gear Optimus Prime, which I do plan on picking uh, Optimus Ultra Magnus uh, from Eye Gear eventually. Um, but you can see Warpath and Bumblebee actually scale quite nice. They're not completely accurate, uh, if you can see. But the scale works due to the design. And now it kind of becomes a bit of a problem when you compare them next to, like, Wheeljack, who, uh, let me move Bumblebee out of the way just for a bit. And you can see he's shorter than Warpath. Which can sort of be a bit of trouble uh, because um, Wheeljack is not a minibot. So I think they got the sizes mixed up with these two since they're from the same wave. Because he does not extend his knees up like the tracks. I think this guy would have been smaller. It would have been nice to see him smaller. Uh, but oh well. If you don't have, if you have Wheeljack, uh, the best Warpath is probably the Legends, because if you can see them next to Legends, Bumblebee, perfect scale, and even perfect scale with Optimus. But, 
yeah, Warpath is definitely better than Wheeljack, I think, in my opinion. And this is really great Autobot setup. So, yes, there's been my video review on Transformers Generations Warpath. Hope you like this video, and please subscribe.